What's up guys, welcome to the garage. Um, we have got the V-Car Bison V3 in um, today. Now. Now I'm going to do this review a little bit different, we're going to take this out for a bash and then we'll go back to the garage and we'll have a look at it. So this was sent to me by Geek Buy and there's a link in the description for it. I'm going to give it a little speed run just down here um, if I can get it straight and then we're going to go over into the field, give it a little bash. <laughs> So this road's a bust. A few cars coming up and down it and this is a bit unpredictable on this gravel. Let's take it over the field, give it a speed run. Just wait for the GPS to zero. I'm not expecting, um, this is meant to do 100 kilometers an hour, or over 100 kilometers an hour. It's not gonna do that, but I'd like to see at least 70. I think the RC Sailor's got 75 with the stock 3S battery. Uh, we're off road, so I'd expect more like, sort of maybe 70, maybe a little bit more. Now let's wait for that to zero, there we go. Right, let's see what we can do. Fifty eight. Sixty two. Long grass is probably zapping a load of the power, so yeah, seventy plus on tarmac. Let's bash it. So <laughs> that was the shortest bash um, in history. I can't quite work out what's happened. I think the pins broke. Um, there's nothing snapped by the looks of it. It looks like the pins broke uh, and come in half. That wasn't that uh, wasn't a hard landing either. And this has got quite decent shocks on it, so I'm surprised at that. Um, yeah, let's go back to the garage and see. Uh, what happened there? Right, let's wrap this little bit up first uh, before we look at the rest. So the culprit was the broken pin on the bottom arm. So um, pin broke uh, and it pulled out and obviously come off. So the, the bottom arm's fine, drive shaft's fine. It's just that pin that has broke. So. This is where we look at the question of quality with this Chinese made um, stuff. And this one in question, this one has actually got a Hobbywing Max 10 ESC and it's the one that you can run 4S on. So the cost of that ESC is probably around 20% of the cost of this whole truck. Uh, and they'll spend that money on the ESC, then they put cheap metal um, like that. That should not break. If anything, these pins should really bend rather than break. So um, yeah, spend the time on the electronics and then cut a few corners on other stuff. It's not all bad news though. This thing looks really nice. It's got some good quality looking um, shocks. Like I say, the electronics are good. It actually goes really well. Um, it's just really unfortunate that I broke it. So it comes ready to run. It's got a nice four channel transmitter. The third channel um, turns the lights on and off. It's got front and rear lights. I shall show you. 
So third channel, lights on, lights off. Lights on, lights off. So it's got a nice um, four channel transmitter. It looks like it's got a pretty decent range on that as well. Comes with a 3S, uh, 3,500 milliamp hour uh, 25C LiPo. The motor is made by a company called Feral. <laughs> I like that name. And overall, this does look nice. I'm just really disappointed that pin broke. Um, it's got nice, big, chunky shocks. The only thing I've done to this out of the box was just adjusted the um, collar on the shock there because the back was a bit soft. Um, you got some nice uh, alloy bits over the diff case there. I guess that's to strengthen it because diff cases are renowned for um, breaking. This is my first V car um, truck. I've not got the, I've not had one before, so I don't know the differences between the V3 and the V2. It looks very similar to the the Cheetah. That's about. I've seen quite a few people got that. That's the chassis underneath. Got a nice thick metal plate through there to strengthen it. I think the V2 might have all been plastic, so now you've got that support there. I can show you this one because the arm's hanging off. Nice little guard there for the uh, bottom of the suspension. And an adjustable rear spoiler. And the nice wheelie bar. You get this nice little net as well that goes over all the electronics, keeps all the debris and stuff out. It won't keep any water out, but if you're on grass and stuff or dust and dirt, it will keep a lot of that out. Not much more to say about it, really. Uh, I think it's a decent truck. I'm going to give it a second try. Uh, I will, these pins, they're probably a generic size, so I might even have some in the garage. So have a look for that. If not, uh, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get a new pin, get it back on, and then we'll get it out and give it another go. And this will run 4S. So that Hobby Wing Max 10 in there, that can run 4S. This truck uh, will run 4S. How long it lasts, I don't know. Anyway. Cheers for watching. If you still are interested in this, even after this video, there is a link in the description. It's from Geek Buy-In, and I definitely think you should give this a second chance. I've seen quite a few people have got these V-Cars and these is it JBL Cheetahs, and yeah, there's a few weak points on them. That may be one of them that I found there, or it might have been a one-off. I'm pretty sure we can get this back up and running, and we'll be back for another bashing video, and we'll see how long it lasts. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you next time.